So, on to the next task for today. Now, speaking of Ruby, do you remember when he built this, um, sugarcane farm? Well, it was a good attempt, and I'm very proud of him for making that attempt. But this is probably the ugliest thing I've ever seen. And with the barn moved out of the way so that we can have some space to actually start making crops and stuff, I figure it's time to actually put together a, a farm. Something that which could be used to give us food and material. And the first one, as I mentioned in the last episode, I believe, I want to do the golden apple tree farm. Now, I don't quite remember which tree it was that dropped the golden apples. I have a hunch that it was the mystery wood logs, but I don't actually know if I have any mystery wood saplings. So, let's check the computer. No, we don't. Oh boy, I can already tell this is gonna be one rootin' tootin' adventure, everybody. Yay! Okay, mystery wood. It was this one, I remember, because the planks glow, and the uh, sapling was golden. And as you can see right there, one of the drops is a regular golden apple. Not an enchanted one, which would be better, but when you consider the fact that this is a natural way of getting even just the default golden apple that doesn't require duping, I'd say this is an absolute win. The issue is we need to actually get the saplings. Now, I believe I actually got them originally completely by coincidence. I got them from a wandering trader uh, just because I thought they looked pretty and I didn't really know if they had a purpose beyond that. And if the only way that I can get them without having to go adventuring is through a wandering trader, I'm going to be waiting for quite some time. Because, to be honest, I don't remember the last time I saw one. I, I think I might have actually scared them off. It doesn't help that I've got signs planted around the base that physically stop them from spawning in. Wherever the signs have gone. There they are. Oh, I was just out of the render distance. Um, but I'd, I'd have to take down the signs and then wait. So it's just another waiting game. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to search the chest monster out here. And if I can't find them out here, I'm going to move on to the next plan that I had. Because there's so much stuff. I should be putting it on the to-do list. Getting rid of the, the cheesy, get your memories back sign. But I, I've just been so busy with the force field and keeping our skies safe that I just haven't had the time. So you know what? I'm going to write down the things that we need to do. So number one is... What is number one? What is the top priority here? I guess number one would be... Again, not really possible right now, but track down the blonde guy. There we go, that's number one. Now we need another sign, so let's find signs. Actually, you know what, I have that much wood on me, I'm just gonna make a sign, I don't care. I asked God for a sign, and he didn't give me one, so I'm making my own. And in a pattern like this, and let's put the sticks there, and let's take all of the signs. There we go, brilliant. And then let's stick the rest of it back in the backpack, and there we go. And let's eat so that we don't starve to death, because <laughs> that would be very not good. I can't believe I'm so rich I can fill up my hunger bar on purely enchanted golden apples. I, I will never get over that. Speaking of which, is there a recipe for these? Yes, there is. Wow, that's a lot easier than I was expecting. So I can either use honey from, you know, any of the things that have honey, Combined with a regular golden apple, a netherite ingot, and a diamond apple to get an enchanted golden apple. I can apply antimatter to the golden apple in an anti-protonic nucleosynthesizer, um, which doesn't sound safe. It doesn't even sound like that'd be edible anymore, I'm gonna be very honest. I could get it from an assistant cook if I got a restaurant in mine colonies, which... Uh, you know, spoilers, but I have a series in the works for that. Or I could just craft it with arcane gold and or potions of fire res, regeneration, and absorption, which, to be honest, not a bad shout. I think this would probably be the easiest one, just because it's really easy to brew potions, but arcane gold isn't that difficult to acquire either. It's Mundabar dust, which is... You know what? I stand corrected. It's very difficult, because what? how do you get an arcane crystal dust spec? Yeah, okay, we're going with the other method. When the time comes, because I am getting a very ahead of myself right there. 
<laughs> okay, so step two on the to-do list after track down the blonde guy is we need to make golden apple tree farm. There we go. And then number three, ah, chests in the way. Good thing I have cardboard boxes. Right, let's just um package this up and move it to this side. There we go. Right then, number three. What's number three? Uh, after the golden apple tree farm, what, what was the other thing I wanted to do? Oh yeah, um, number three, slash four, was remove the chest monster and increase ME storage. And then, while it is below three and four, I probably feel like this is the most pressing of the things, um, number five, Get uh, Dr. Phil to brew us another, that won't fit on that part of the sign, another memory, motherfuck, memory restoration potion. Never mind, it's not big enough for the last letter, so you'll just stick it at Potio, or Potio, or however the hell you'd say that. But we have our goals. Now, golden apple tree farm. I know how to make these. We just need to look for the saplings. So, um, I've got my work cut out for me here. Oh, that is such good luck. The third chest that I searched and we have a stack and 14. Right then. So we have the main component of the tree farm, which is the tree. Now all we need is the stuff required to build the tree farm. So don't tell him. I'm going to be mean here. I am going to steal his mechanical bearing um, because I don't want to have to make another one. And, oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, baby's first rotational power. I might leave that there purely as a landmark, to be completely honest. Right then, so with the mechanical bearing in hand, first of all, I feel like we need to sort of plan out where it is we're going to put this tree farm. Now, I'm thinking maybe if we put it sort of off-center, off to the side, maybe use uh, this block. No, this block. If I put this here and I fly up, can I see uh, where it is? Not quite. I think I need to push it that way slightly. Up by three. Or maybe there. If I put it there. So if I keep an eye on that one, that's adjacent to the flowers. If I put it here... How does that look? Top down, how does that look? Hmm? You know what? I like that. It's not perfect, but I like it, and that's good enough. Right, so now that we have the mechanical bearing, the next thing we need to grab are, if we type in at create, there we go, we need some chassis, I believe they're called. Uh, if I can find them, oh, casing could also work. Uh, no, 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 no. Where are they? Why can't I see them? There they are. Yeah, chassis. We need linear chassis, which is actually just uh stripped logs and andesite alloy, so that should be a piece of cake. Well, I think what I am going to do very quickly is I'm just going to lower this by one. I'm going to stick it in the ground a block lower. Okay, so to very quickly check, do we have any chassis already made? Let's have a look. No, we do not. We have zero chassis already made. Okay, that's not great, but um, it, it is a pretty cheap recipe, all things considered, so we should be fine. If we remember, all we need is some logs and andesite alloy. Now, apparently, it's the logs that we're missing, so if we just delve into our backpack very quickly, we can swap the sawdust for the spruce logs, and I don't, yeah, there's no space in the computer, but we can keep it in our inventory. And from there, we can just, uh, skadoosh. Uh, yep, and then let's do another line. My Saturday nights be like, you know, I have these brilliant jokes, and then I fuck it all up by stumbling over my words. That would have been a brilliant one-liner. That would have been absolutely perfect. But I just can't fucking open my mouth and have it work the first time. Either way, we only need 12 of these little son of a bitches. And, uh, we don't even need glue, because chassis stick together by default. So as long as we stick this the right way up, like this, and then continue along here like this, we should be absolutely peachy. Now, circumference-wise, if that's the center, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 in total. So what if we just, um, let's try and even this out. So 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 
five, and then we'll keep this one spare. We'll stick this one in a backpack somewhere. Right then, so the next thing we need to do is we need to get ourselves some more deployers. And dear God, I am so tired of making deployers. Okay, let's, uh, brass. Brass is, uh, not crushed. It is, no, copper and zinc. Let's go make some brass. All right, actually, very quickly, let's just see if we have any brass that we can steal. Uh, although it doesn't look to appear uh, like we're going to be that lucky. Yeah, no, we've got no brass. Okay, we need copper, which we also don't have. And what was the other thing that we needed? It was zinc, right? Copper and zinc mixed together. Do we have any zinc? We don't have any zinc. Right. Does copper have an EMC value? No, it doesn't. Well, brass doesn't. I think copper might. Uh, this means we need to go on a mining trip, which we haven't done in so long. It is genuinely impressive how long we've managed to go without having to go mining in, you know, Minecraft. And I'm just now remembering that we just never explored that. It just popped up and we just never addressed it. Let's go see what that is first of all, actually. Yo. We've got some wolfkin guards on the surface, that's new. Hey, there, tall, dark, and handsome. Um, what are you doing here? That information is classified. All wolfkin information temporarily classified. What, you're not even gonna look at me? I helped your boss take down, like, the equivalent of a giant raid for you guys, I think. Do I, do I not even get the, um... The, 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 the courtesy of being looked at when I'm spoken to? Shradlin help really appreciated. With Wolfkin secrets guarded at all costs currently, we'll be letting on plan soon. Needn't worry. Alright, that's fair, I suppose. Um, so why are you on the surface? Under orders to protect Wolfkin structure. And I don't suppose if I come and talk to, you know, the the other guy over here, he'll give me a different answer. Fat chance, meatbag. Okay, I saw that coming. Right, well, I trust you for now, but if you start messing with my stuff, I will turn your entire species into nothing but hair for a cat to choke upon. I hope you understand that. Bit of an overreaction, in our opinion. Good. Uh, I'm gonna get back to what I was doing now. Maybe that threat was a little harsh. They are technically supposed to be our allies after all, but, you know, allies don't really build giant wolf heads in the middle of our freshly renovated base without at least consulting each other first, so as far as I'm concerned, that was equal opportunity. Right, well, so, if we're going on a mining trip, I actually need to empty out my inventory so that I've got the space for all of the ores we need. So let's just put the rest of our stuff up here with our starlight. Uh, stuff so bucket and logs and controller and all of this stuff this can all go in here That's it take it all. I'll keep the gun on me just because you know Why wouldn't I and I'm, I'm gonna keep the saplings on me too? Um, just so I know where I've got them uh, and the next step is to go to our waystone actually and I think I want to go down to the area where I fought the Wither. Personally, it just seems to me like that was a pretty lucrative spot in terms of uh, resources. Right then. Last step. Charge up the destruction catalyst and let's let's just go to town. Skadoosh. Oh, yeah, we should probably turn our magnet on. Where did I put my magnet? I could have sworn I'd put my magnet in one of these chests. Where the hell did it go? Oh. I'm just blind. There it is. Now, since we are specifically just looking for copper and zinc, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep voiding this stuff um, until I can find it. Uh, the only things I'm gonna keep on me are ores that are relatively rare, just because otherwise this trip is purely um, for copper and zinc. Uh, even redstone, I'm gonna start avoiding. Fluorite, I'm gonna avoid it. Coal, I'm gonna avoid it. So does quartz, I'm gonna avoid it. This feels really wasteful. Maybe I'm gonna not do that. Let's, let's come up with a different strategy. Okay, came up with a new strategy. New strategy is we're just gonna make more trips and keep dropping off our resources whenever we get them. So silver, let's keep that. Let's avoid the cobblestone. Prosperity, sure, why not? Marble, 
<laughs> had enough of you. Arcane Crystals, yes please, I'll take that. Uh, raw Uranite, yes please, who's Uranite? My Uranite. And uh, more Fluorite, okay, and Marble, yeah, and Dirt, yeah, okay, there we go. This uh, might take a while, so um, let's just skip forward until I'm done, shall we? Oh, are you coming to kill me? You're very menacing. You know, I have just had the biggest brainest of ideas, and I'm not sure why I didn't think of this before. But I'm 99% sure cloning a backpack doesn't clone its inventory, so if I just do that, I just have a free large backpack that I can just put ores in. So if I just dedicate this entire backpack to ores, then I'm not going to run out of space anytime soon. And if I do, well, I mean, I can just get a new one. <laughs>